Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a, this is going to be a very large fly. This is going to be a Helgramite, swimming Helgramite. And the hook that I have in the vise right now, this is a size 4, but this is like 5 extra long. A cricket hook is about right. If you go and you get the Eagle Claw cricket hooks from... Uh, the uh, department store and their fishing department they'll work but they're a little bit on the lighter side but they'll work first thing what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go about one-third of the way down the hook and I'm gonna bend it up and get that I want to get that straight and there we go and it ends up a little bit a little bit further than almost half but you want to keep that front section the bent part and we're just gonna take some black thread this is the uni thread and this is six ot and we're gonna just start the thread on the hook and we're gonna come back to the tail section and you could get this wide loops you could even start it right at the very back there but when you get to the back put several wraps on there to tighten it up and then you can break that off tighten my vise there a little bit I was moving it around now this is just very simple the materials are black goose biots you can actually use brown if you'd like but black is probably the more popular color and then for our dubbing I'm going to use black and this is just wool roving and I got this from the craft store so we're gonna get started here I'm gonna take just a pair of these for the tail just bend them and grab them and you can pull them off and we're going to use that natural curve of the biot and we'll go ahead and secure them with a couple of wraps take the other side And again, like I said before, you can line up the butt sections and know that the tips will be aligned. And we'll secure them. And there's our tail. Now I'm just going to take some of the wool roving. Just pull some out. Not a lot. Not a real lot, but it kind of comes out in a large... bundle there it, it's not the easiest thing to dub on there either and we're gonna wrap this I'm gonna just get that started I'm gonna put one wrap in back of the tail and that's gonna help to keep those tails open and you may have to continually wrap that dubbing now we're gonna get about one two three four about three and then the fourth wrap is gonna be right on that uh, bend or the fourth pair of biots is gonna be on that bend and it, so we're just gonna take another pair take that one then we're gonna tie that in and you can keep them about the length of the tail maybe a little shorter you definitely don't want them bigger take the one for the other side and we're gonna tie that in that one was a little bit long. I'm going to pull that one kind of to length. 
Now, in order to keep them from just going flat against the hook shank, bring it right back to that dubbing. And then that dubbing will kind of push them out. Then we're going to add more dubbing, and we're going to continue. We got one, two, three, four, and then we're going to have another three at the top, and then antennas. And as you're going with the dubbing, you could kind of make a little, you could kind of make a taper on the fly. Smaller at the back and, and a little bit larger towards the front. This also could be accomplished by how, how tight you wrap your noodle and how tight you wrap your noodle around the hook. Of course you want it you want it tight so that it just doesn't fall off. Then we're gonna take our next one. I'm gonna zoom that in a little bit. We're gonna take our next one set of biots and tie them in. There's no weight on this. Of course you could put weight on it if you'd like, but the way we fish this is just Put a little weight on your uh, on your tippet, cast it, and just let it swing across the current. Take the next one, kind of size that up to the previous length. There we go. Just a couple of wraps. And as you're going, as you get more, don't worry a whole lot if your legs aren't perfectly aligned with each other. I mean, you don't want one going off the bottom and off the top, but if they're not perfectly aligned, it's not a big deal. This is going to be a swinging fly. It's another point to make is impression. To me, I believe the impressionistic type flies or what catches more fish more than the realistic you're in moving water the fish see it they're gonna see it okay that's a helgramite and plus the natural you know those wings aren't or those legs aren't stiff you know they're gonna be kind of flopping around moving around and whatnot so that's why the impressionistic type flies I believe work better it's going to be a great smallmouth bass fly. It may even make a good uh, trout fly. Good time, good nighttime trout fly too. Take our next set. And that's just about at the at the position of the bend there. And we're just going to continue this, and we'll put another one, three or four, on the front section. Now, when I get a couple of uh, sections from the tip, I'm going to put a wing case in, and this is just going to be a uh, turkey turkey tail just going to tie that in we'll trim off that excess now we'll put some more dubbing on there using this wool roving I, it is uh, good it, it soaks the water up and so that'll help to sink it soak the water in there really good you can see it's very coarse take our next one and now I have to start trimming the legs
And now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take that wing case and fold that over. We're going to trim that off. Then I'm going to put a couple goose biots pointing out forward for the pinchers. I'm just going to add just a little bit more of the dubbing there. This one is a small amount. I'll give that a little bit of a figure eight to help those pinchers stay out. Now I'm going to take my uh, whip finish and I'm going to whip finish this behind the pinchers. We'll tug that a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of head cement on there. This is big, so you don't have to get skimpy with the head cement. And then one final thing that I do before I'm done is I'm going to go ahead and take my dubbing teaser and just rough that up. Just kind of, I'm rolling it on there and it's pulling. Take a little bit on the back side. If you get too big of a chunk coming off, you can just trim that off. You can see right there. And here we have a swimming Helgramite. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. If you do subscribe, please hit the notify button so you don't miss any of my uh, videos. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. Let them know that I sent you. If they uh, like to purchase any flies for me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it on there what you're looking for, just send me a message, tell me what you're looking for, and we'll figure things out. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.